Hey everybody, happy hump day to you. We're back with the second video of Custard Week. And today we have two more top-notch custards that every mixer should have. At number four, we have Wonder Flavors Vanilla Custard. And number three, the granddaddy of them all, the original, the OG, Capella Vanilla Custard. You can see it's a four ounce bottle. Still have, this bottle is over three years old and you see how much I still have left of it. Not a whole lot, but I'm impatient. I don't like to wait for stuff to steep. And I don't have a game changer to cut time out either. So this, I mean, right off the bat, Wonder Flavors, excellent, excellent, excellent custard. My opinion works best with other dark flavors, heavy, rich, creamy flavors. And that's what I get from that. I get a very heavy, thick, rich, buttery custard that doesn't necessarily play well with strangers. It doesn't play well with a lot of fruits. It plays well with a lot of its own kind. And then you have, I said, Cat V1 and plays well with everything. With fruits, with you know, dark flavors, with butterscotches, caramels, other creams, uh, other custards. I mean, it just it just plays well with everything. But the drawback is you're looking at a lot of steep time. You're looking at 14 to 28 days if you're not using anything to accelerate the steeping process. So let's go see what some of these other, some of these other mixers say about these two grand flavors. And I'll let you enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your day, I should say. All right, let's go down to the table. Let's go down here to ELR. First, we're going to start off Vanilla Custard Wonder Flavors. Now, I'm not even going to bother with the notes. We're just going to go right into flavor pairings. You know, sweetener, custard premium, Bavarian cream, cookie butter. See where I'm going here? You don't see that many fruits in here except for strawberry juicy. Oh, and banana puree too. Banana puree, I feel, is a, not a very bright banana, but it's a real nice rich banana. One of my one of my favorite bananas. See if they have vanilla custard too. Crumble topping, egg yolk. 86 public recipes on this. And number one rated one is from Lamb, Sherlock Holmes, and Grant only has three ratings. Wonder Custard. All Wonder Flavors. Done a year, almost a year ago. Butter pecan pie, buttermilk, egg yolk, marshmallow gooey, Tahitian vanilla cream. Use the vanilla custard at three. It says seven days steep. You could probably bake this off the shake and probably be pretty darn good. Here we got Tears of Crimson's wonderful custard, Michelle. She uses croissant at one, crumble top at 1.5, butter cake at one, sugar cookie at two, a little bit of, well, a lot of bit of stevie at one, and then the vanilla custard also at three. Three is a good spot for this for this custard, two, three percent. Uh, let's see, Rin has mango parfait. She uses it here at one because you know say she doesn't mix things high. Uh, nice mango fruity mix there with some bananas, some mangoes, some Greek yogurt. We got coconut in there. Uh, steep time a few days to a week. On that one there. Here's Addy Tooney. Addy's fruit custard cream pie. Uses blueberry extra at two. Cookie butter at 0.8. Flavor was kiwi. Two and a half. One on one pie crust. Strawberry juicy from F.A. Uh, uses the vanilla custard 1.5 and one on one at 1.2. One on one whipped cream, that is. Mix it for developed. And he also did, did for the, uh, <clears throat> the Aussie Relief last year VSO's Blueberry Flapper Pie. VSO Blueberry at 4, Flapper Pie 1.2, Pie Crust at 0.6, and vanilla custard at 1.2%. Let's check out Strawberry Lush from Tam. She uses buttercream frosting at 1.5, flapper pie at 3, fresh strawberries, wonder flavors at 3, that's an older flavor. 
uh, strawberry cheesecake at two, sugar cookie at two, and vanilla custard at two as well. Basically a strawberry shortcake and a makeover. I like what she did there. It looks tasty. I don't have the fresh strawberries from Wonder Flavors. I'd probably have to sub that out. Uh, Tommy V, 80 V's coffee custard, Bavarian cream, milk froth, creme brulee, VSO espresso, and use the vanilla custard 1.9. See, there's nice coffee. See, where you, coffee flavors and creme brulee, other stuff to go with the vanilla custard. That's where I think it, its sweet spot is, where you're using it with other stuff like that. But then, Tom, but then. Fresh turns around and calls me a liar there because he uses it here with strawberry jam and strawberry, baked strawberry and stuff like that. And he used it at 1.8. All right, let's go to Granddaddy of it all now. Let's go to Vanilla Custard Capella. May contain diacetyl, contains acetone, acetylpropanol. That's why they made a V2 because of all that stuff. Common pairings. Uh, look at these, look at these numbers here, 50,000, 48,000, 44,000, New York cheesecake, Bavarian cream, sugar cookie, sweet strawberry, strawberry ripe, super sweet, sweet cream, vanilla swirl, buttercream, and F.A. And let me, let's see, a recipe that just came out yesterday has still V1 in it, strawberry custard cake. He's using it 2%. Tommy is. But VSO strawberry, strawberry ripe, butter cake, yellow cake. So you see, it's still, even though it's a classic, it's still being used every single day in a mix. You're, you're going to see every day on ELR, you're going to find a mix with that in there. Here's one April 9th. Strawberry jam cookie for the vaping trucker. Which we will get to that here before the end of this video. Innerware biscuit at one, powdered sugar 0.65, shisha strawberry, strawberry jam, sugar cookie, super sweet, vanilla bean ice cream, wonder flavors, and you can just get a touch of vanilla custard at 0.45. Where if you're using it low, like under 1%, that long steep time is not going to come into play. And let's go back. Let's see what the highest rated recipe is on ELR for. Cat V1. Ten thousand six hundred seventy six public recipes using this flavor and look at two hundred sixty nine thousand six hundred one private recipes. The number one rated with five with a hundred and thirty five star well, the average 4.8 on 130 votes. Voodoo Troll 2016. Five pawns, queen side, spot on. Natural blood orange. It's an orange cream. Basically, with some vanilla. Look at this right here 10% cat B1. This is one, yeah, see, 20 day steep. Yeah, it's. I mean, I never had five pawns. Uh, I like a good orange cream. Here at Kenoware, ultimate classic. I've made this many, many times. I've done variations of it. Strong Anna custard. Loran's butter and banana cream at four. Strawberry ripe, sweet strawberry, and 10% vanilla custard. As in your older mixes, you find tons and tons and tons of eight, nine, ten percent. Ellis Shortbread Biscuit, Vaping Home Mixers. Here it's only used at two. Sugar Cookie. Biscuit and Aware. Let's see. Here's Here we go. Here's where does it go. The Ultimate Creed's Custard. You can find the one shot for this over at DIYFlavorChaser.com. <clears throat> Uses it at 6%. New York Cheesecake, French Vanilla, and some EM there. Cotton Candy to round off. There's not really many rough edges here. But suggested steep time, six weeks, and it needs. It. I went four weeks and was not a fan personally, so I think I needed to let it go longer. But here's, I mean, it's just one of those flavors that 
It takes a long time. Here, Lars, the founder of ELR. But not in cake, a banana. He uses it at 4.3 with banana, biscuit, cheesecake, and fresh cream. Primary taste of a banana and cake is fruity fried plantains with a hint of creamy smooth pudding. He uses a colorless banana cream. Uh, I tried to enjoy, but liked it without it. Instead, he increased the. He also tried increasing the biscuit and didn't work out. But he liked it, so he does give some suggestions here. Point four butterscotch from F egg helps with the plantains, and four percent F egg caramello helps out as well. So there you got it, guys. One newer flavor and one and the granddaddy of all almost every mix that has any kind of custard in it from the beginning of mixing to today still uses cat b1 don't be afraid of it everyone should try to shake and vape it at least once just to see if you like it not saying you're going to but just to see because i personally i can vape cat b1 at average percentages four or five percent in a mix off the shake and it, it does get better it does get better every time absolutely it does but it still tastes good off the shake for me at four or five percent you start getting into the nine ten percent yeah you're gonna need to, you're just gonna need a little steep it's just that type of flavor it's buttery it's rich it's eggy it's Everything you want in a custard. All right, gang. One more thing before we get out of here. May 7th and 8th. On the DIY or Die YouTube channel. Need everybody to come together. We have a 24-hour live stream for our good friend, Mike, Vape, Mike Vaping Trucker. He has cancer. Not in the best, not in great shape. We want to make things comfortable for him and his family the best way we can. We just need everyone to come together. I know a lot of people here in the U.S. got stimulus checks. Don't be afraid to throw some of that money into the GoFundMe. The link will be in the description. He needs your help. He's helped us. This community helps everybody. So I need you. We need you. Mike needs you. We want to we want to break records with this one. He deserves it. He's a great guy. He'll do anything for anybody. And now he needs our help. All right. Be safe, everybody. Wash your hands. Don't talk to the strangers. We'll see you on Friday. Bye, everybody.